What's up to all you beautiful people out there? Guess what? I'm back with the main menu. And it's time for some more Life is Strange. Here we go again, guys. It's time to get it started. And I'm so excited for this part because last part, oh my god, that decision, I don't know what the hell to do, man. I feel like I made the right decision. Hopefully I did. I went with my gut. I chose to look for more proof. So here we go. Let's get out of here. That's where we left off last time, guys. I'm so excited to see what happens. Let's do this thing. All right, so what? Chloe. You are you are even 40 minutes or else. Max, food, two wells. See you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast. No emoji. <laughs> funny, funny, funny stuff. So I guess I gotta go meet her for breakfast. Hold on, hold on. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Ooh, so it's Halloween time. Whatever they're watching must be hot stuff. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? That's not cool. That's so not cool. I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that, and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What about Zachary? What about Victoria? Are you sure? What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways, too. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Nice, see? I helped Kate out a little bit right there. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, who's this chick? What's happening, Dana? Everything oh, Dana. between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Why not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Huh. Nice. Hmm. Looks like I'm going to a party, guys. This is both sad and pathetic. Oh, I think I've done read this before. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go uh, meet Chloe. Stop, uh, you know, stalling. Let's get out of here and get some breakfast. This game is really pretty, man. I like it. I love the art style, the graphics. I know people like, man, these graphics aren't that great. They suck. Well, for the game and how, like, that's what they want the game to look like, guys. You know? They don't want it to look like The Last of Us. It just doesn't have the same feel, you know? Like, I love the art style. That's how they want it to be, and I like it, okay? It's great. Bird. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. This dude's a creeper, man. He's so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. Animals? That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. 
Oh my god. What animals do you see in the forest? I saw a doe. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. <laughs> Talk later. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Oh my god, this dude's such a creep. Like how he talks and stuff. He's like, hello, young Max. How you doing today? Uh, back the fuck off, bro. Can't Blackwell have at least one no football zone? I know I'm 18. I know I'm legal now, but hey, I don't want your old ass. How about that one? Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrel. It's time for your 15 minutes of fame. Oh, I get to feed the squirrel, though. See, I'll come I over better here. not get near the bench, or the squirrel won't take the food. Is it taking it? It is. Can I go back? Photo, nice. Yes, another Pulitzer for the portfolio. Awesome. All right, let's go meet Chloe now. Wherever she may be. Is that Warren? Yep. My boy. Max, it's over here. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway. I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Thank you. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. <laughs> You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Oh my god. <laughs> the way he said that and the way my mind works, it, it I just couldn't stop. I had to laugh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was funny. That was pretty funny. An old friend. Chloe Price, we haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I bust him, don't get involved. Ugh, I busted him, I'm gonna be truthful to him. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I was too scared to tell Principal Wells. Please don't say anything. I'll give you more info later. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Nice. Let's go ape! Yes. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Nice. I like Warren, man. He seems like a cool dude. It doesn't seem like a dick like everybody else. Alright, let's keep going. Go take the bus, alright? Let's do it. Football goal. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Or Chloe. How you doing, sir? Ain't nobody on this damn bus. Ain't nobody on to ride the big cheese. 
Uh oh, here comes that soundtrack again. Nice. Where are we off to? Don't you know that I'll be to She's got good taste in music, I know that. I like this. Love the feel, the vibe, everything about it. She's dozing off. There's the lighthouse. Look at the birds. That lighthouse is a symbol of something. I feel it. They keep showing it. The symbolism. Damn, is that the gas price? Four dollars and seven cents. The fuck? Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Oh, guy. Yeah. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Nice, sir. Nice. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. I love having like random conversations with people. I love it, man. Running late, grab a booth at the diner. Mom will feed you. Somebody better. I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. Why is she rushing me for her, though? I thought she was already here. She was rushing me. Now she's not even here. What the fuck? She's the one who's late. Look at this, though. Flyers? Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Damn. Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. Huh. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. I love all the interesting characters they have in this game. But that, that's a good information to have though. Like I didn't know like they was that well off with like the Prescott family. So yeah, like if I went to the police, they might pay off the police, you know, since they're so wealthy and basically own the town. Man. <laughs> I like how he has no names, just man. Read the newspaper? Snow. Well, that's a good start to the story. Huh. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. 
Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds. <laughs> that dude got big ass nose. You see it? <laughs> How long have you lived here? Long enough to know that Arcadia Bay will be a ghost town in a few years. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. Rachel Amber. You mean Rachel Amber? I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Interesting. I right, was go into the diner. Damn, that missing girl, Rachel Amber, is like everywhere. The smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware Ugh, makes me feel 13 again. Makes you want to go to the Waffle House right now. Don't. I might have to uh, end the video right here, guys, and uh, give me some Waffle House. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. Nice, he seems like a cool, cool guy. Oh, my boy Justin. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Nice. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am. I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You crack me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. <laughs> you should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. That's a good spirit to have, you know? And the other, like, guy around here be like, You fucking dick. Taking my girl, bro. It's time to fight. Fuck that shit. A girl ain't worth that much, I'm telling you. Trust me. I learned from experience. That's funny. Our family never went well watching. Oh, I gotta change this shit. Looks fun. Ban banjo tune or guitar tune? I'm going with, uh, guitar tune. Got to switch it up. Uh oh, hell yeah! Whoa, Ken Kesey with Joyce? That's so perfect. I'm sorry if I'm stalling in this game. I love just looking around at everything. You know, there's so much stuff to look at and, and explore. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. That guy might be on there. Drool. What? Everything. Oh god, that does look good. All right, time to sit down. It's time to sit. This game reminds me of like an RPG type game too. Like how many people you can talk to, all the stuff you can explore. The world's not that big, but still, like. And there she is, a lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It's very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us, 
Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? They were scared me, I did. I did. I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. Oh, God. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. I mean, I get when you respect our uh, soldiers in the army and all that. And I do. I respect the hell of them guys. They deserve all the great treatment they need, but... That doesn't mean he has to be a dick. The guy's a fucking dick. Army, no army, soldier, no soldier. Like, his personality trait is that he's a dick. He's mean to people. I mean, I get, I mean, just uh, I, I just hate the fact that, oh, he was a soldier. He served us. Thank you for serving us. Doesn't mean you have to be mean to us. Doesn't mean you have to be a dick and thank you all high and mighty. You know? Just saying. He cares about Kate Marsh? He cares about Kate Marsh? Well, David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? Oh, bacon omelet, Belgian waffle. I gotta go with the Belgian waffle. I got to. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Bring it on. Now finish your coffee. And also about the RPG thing, I know you can't like... You know, like... One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. Oh snap. One Belgian waffle at 12 o'clock high. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. You know, like, you can't, like, uh, upgrade and all that and shit, stuff like that in RPGs, but the other half of that, it still feels like RPG, you know, talking to everybody with the, and that has all the different, I get some beer and bacon before I die? <laughs> is a dime, different writing, not a bar. and, uh, beer? all the different conversations you can have with people. Looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. I feel you on that, girl. I swear I need some Waffle House right now. Especially if I see that Belgian waffle. Oh my god, bro. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. Huh. Drink coffee? No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Incoming. I mean, it's a Waffle House I guy. Your stomach Basically. From here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I mean, why would they have beer here? I'm drooling like a baby. Oh my god. I can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, uh Look at that Belgian waffle, guys. Speak of the devil. Oh, there she is. My girl. <laughs> She's so cool. Mom and I Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh God, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl, a woman. She's 18 now. Hell yeah. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. Huh. Thanks, Mom. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. I feel you. What is this shit on the jukebox? I'm sorry, you don't, you don't like that? 
What you gonna play? Now that that's out of the way. Nice. <laughs> Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. <laughs> mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Gun, keys, chewing gum. I don't know. Uh, well, I mean, it don't matter what choice I make because I can rewind time and I can actually say the right thing, you know? But the logical answer will be keys because, I mean, she drives, so she should have keys on her, right? So I'll go with that. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Skull keychain, razor blade keychain, bullet keychain. Oh, this is hard. Skull keychain? Question mark? A uh, skull keychain for a punk like you. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Now I can see what's actually in our pockets. Watch. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Watch this. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Uh... Chewing gum? Some old chewing gum? Nada. Not impressed. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pocket. I thought... Hold on. I thought I saw some chewing gum. I'm sorry, guys. Let's rewind that again. Is that, I see cigarettes. But I don't see so, keys or gun either, though. Okay, Max. I'm hella... Keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I... Bullet keychain? Was it a bullet keychain? A bullet. Just like your necklace. That was so... Okay, so... Damn, I can't see where the shit... Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Oh, okay. A panda, keychain, cigarettes, coins, one cent, five cents, quarter dollar coins. This is what I had to do. Okay, I had to look at it first, then do it. I, I was like, I was wondering now, like, uh, I'm not doing this right? Your vehicle's parked in a restricted area. Okay. This is a warning ticket. All right, I feel like I got it. Reverse, reverse. Rewind time. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. Cigarettes. I'm gonna say parking ticket. Money. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Oh God. Oh shit. I didn't see the fucking time. Ten thirty-four a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. Cigarettes? I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> Damn, she is so good at this. I'm like, I, I just took a lucky guess last time. I'm gonna go with seven? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Panda, panda, panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? <laughs> oh, like, it's not 25 cents. It's, uh, fuck. Damn, what was it? It was five cents, ten cents, and a quarter dollar. So that's a dollar, I think. 
So it would be 86? 86 cents. That's right. Living large in Arcadia Bay. Awesome. I just took a wild guess. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. Amazeballs? You have powers. Hell yeah, I do. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. <laughs> Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. Damn that Belgian waffle, though. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Okay, nice. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Oh, no, and everything. Okay, they got in a little argument. Police went by, spilt the drink. That's the best song I've this heard is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. Jukebox God, changed. Jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? All right, here we go. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Cop drops his glass. No. Trucker drops his mug. That's what it was. The trucker drops his mug, and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? Alert on cops radio, and he leaves, and, and he eats a donut, and his partner leaves. His partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin Trevor fight, and Joyce beats them. And Joyce stops them. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. g -Bot goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it, as a butterfly lands on it, as the fly lands on it, as the trucker plays a new song. The jukebox goes crazy as the trucker tries to play a new song. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. I don't know if the jukebox is... I don't know. It just started going crazy, so I just... Let's see. Hopefully I get it right. Oops. Dude, Did you, you right? break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? You're a oh, dick. You're so cool. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Told you. Oh, it was a cockroach. Fuck. This is a That's sad day in Maxwell. This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Damn, I got that wrong. Really? Come on now. She should have believed me. I'm going to predict. All right, hold on, hold on. Dropped his the mug. Yep, so yep, yep. Alert on cops radio and he leaves. No, his partner leaves. The cop get Well. Joy stops them. Justin and Trevor. This is getting. Yep. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But. Watch and learn, girl. Now it's doing like an actual cutscene. Okay, yeah, I got it right. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. He's off to go bust some skaters. 
You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? Hell yeah, I did. I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. <laughs> this isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened. <laughs> Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. <laughs> uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Oh, hey, shit. You okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Nice. I had the same reaction like Chloe's having right now. Like, dude, you gotta show me all this shit. You gotta, like, do this, do that. We gotta do some fun shit. Like, I'm like, dude, you can do this and not even have to worry about it. Like, that's how I'd be, like, if I, like, met somebody, like, my friend and had, like, powers like her. Dude, I'd be just like Chloe. I'm like, dude, man, we could do all types of shit. We can rob the bank we want time like it never happened. <laughs> Think I'm ready for thirds. But I'm going to end the video right here. First. Thank you guys for everything. That was pretty stomach awesome. Plans ahead. Your stomach is stocking up for winter. That was pretty awesome, guys. I loved every second of that. That was a cool sequence showing uh, Chloe my powers and like how she like received it. The writing of this game is phenomenal. I love the writing. Chloe is such a cool chick. Max is such a cool, interesting girl, too. I love all the characters in this game so far. Like, everybody has their whole different, like... You know personality and i like that it's pretty cool pretty cool i like it i like it a lot but it's getting about that time guys i gotta end it right here i know i lollygag around a lot but hey man this is how i play these games this is how I, I enjoy them hopefully you guys are enjoying it as well this is just how i play it but there you go i'm out of here i'll see you guys in the next one thank you again for everything you guys are great don't forget to subscribe to bulletproof games if you haven't already hit that like button Smash it, crack its neck, do what you want with it. Molest it, I don't care. Let's do something to it. Just make sure it gets hit and I get to see it, okay? Also, comment below, tell me what you think. With all that being said, stay different from everybody else. You're witnessing greatness. I'm out of here, guys. Thank you guys again for everything. Bye-bye.